Today we're comparing the Canon RF 50mm f1.8 with the Mica RF 50mm 1.7 manual. This is autofocus, this is the Canon lens that you're looking at at the moment and I've got to be honest, I dislike this lens. I don't use it very much and compared to my normal regular lens, the Sigma 35mm f1.4, I'm just, well, it just doesn't compare really in my eyes. The image quality is good, I've got the f1.8, but being sent the Mica to review, that being f1.7 and half the price, albeit a manual lens, can we cope with that lens on the odd occasion that I do use a 50 millimeter focal length? Do I need to keep this lens? Can I sell it? I use it on the odd occasion for macro shots with the filters that I've got for some client work, but I could basically substitute that with another lens. I just don't like it. There's, it's plasticky, it's very light, which okay, can be an advantage. I'd like a bit of a heavier lens on the front of the camera. The focus breathing is just a laugh, and we'll do some tests in a little bit with video, and then we'll do some photography tests, just take some photos and compare it with the Mica. What's the quality of the Mica compared to this RF 50mm from Canon? It's just not a very good lens. To top it off, the autofocus noise is horrendous. It's so loud, put the camera way over there with a, a wireless mic because that's the only way you'd be able to get decent audio from this. It's just, it's terrible. I just don't recommend it at all either. I mean, the focusing is fast, don't get me wrong. It's accurate, but that's more to do with the R6 than the lens. The, I can hear the motor from here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna swap over to the Mica lens and you can be the judge, but it's hard to get the focus nailed on a manual focus lens. That is one of the disadvantages of the Mica. It's gonna be a similar picture, I think. We'll test it. To get the focus right, I'm gonna introduce you to Bob. This is Bob. Bob's gonna help me. Now focus. I'm going to leave the chair here, put Bob where my head would be, and hopefully we'll get the focus right. This is so stupid. Okay, anyway, let's swap over to the mica and test that out in a studio environment. I'm going to put Bob there. A little bit further back. Okay, let's, uh, let's swap it over. Okay, the mica's on. Let's try and nail the focus. F1.7, settings the same. Ooh. That's it. I got the focus peeking on, so Bob's face is in yellow. Thanks, Bob. Right, so this is the Mica 50mm RF 1.7. How does this look? Manual focus, it's going to be hard to nail the manual focus. I have to use Bob, but I seem to have got it on that occasion I did record a little bit where it wasn't in focus so it is a little bit tricky so that is one of the disadvantages of this lens but overall what does it look like comment down below I'll put a bit of a side by side now compared to the Canon RF 50mm 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter 1.8 what does it look like compare the two comment down below while you're down there make sure you subscribe press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads loads of stuff coming up soon okay so video test you be the judge what we'll do now, we'll go into the living room, take some photos, compare the two, and see how it stacks up as far as photography goes. Okay, so that was the comparison, you saw the video comparison, you saw the photo comparison. Uh, looking at the photos, the, there isn't, a, is there a difference? I'm not sure if there is a difference. With the focus breathing, it's not, maybe it's not as bad as I'm making out. Um, it's, I've just got a bit of a down on this lens. It did do it a few times, but in general, it's pretty fast and accurate. But like I said, it's more the camera than the lens doing the autofocusing. Uh, the autofocus noise is still loud. But when you've got the manual focus peaking with the color on the screen with the manual lens of the Mica 50mm f1.7, then you can still nail the focus. It's still bang on and it's just 
yeah, it's another step, but it's only a very minor step to do. And is it worth twice the price? And the answer to that is, well, simply no. Having the autofocus, especially for photography, is in my eyes not essential, especially if you're doing different kinds of photography, if you're doing astrophotography, which this lens would be good for, night photography, then you're not gonna use autofocus, you're gonna use manual focus anyway. So half the price, just the same quality, just as good. It's metal, all metal construction, it's weather sealed, weather proofed, and it's, yeah, it's a really good, really good bit of glass. It looks really nice. So I'd recommend going for that over this one. I'm gonna sell this, I'm gonna get rid of it, and if, when the odd occasion comes along that I wanna use a 50 millimeter, then I'll use a manual focus mica. So that's my conclusion. So I hope this video helped. If you're thinking about buying this lens, maybe don't maybe look into other options out there if you can afford it try and get up to the 1.4 the 1.2 50 millimeter i know they're excruciatingly expensive but it's something that's going to last you a lifetime one of those lenses and this one just wouldn't wouldn't last you well, that's it for this video thanks for watching and um, i'll catch you in the next one bye guys